Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to Web Tech Academy once again. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this amazing flyer. And I'm not only going to be teaching you how to make this flyer, I'll also teach you how to uh, design out this mock-up, how to make it a mock-up. Don't forget, we're on the course on designing business cards as a professional. We're on the course of designing business cards as a professional. We are right now, I think this should be video uh, 4 of our course on, on designing business cards I will go right down to video 15 of designing various business cards why are we doing this is to help you be able to design business cards with ease is to help you be able to des design business cards like a professional so if you if you need the resources of this video please kindly write it on our, on our whatsapp on 681 Zero twenty four hundred. The code should is a Cameroon is Cameroon code two plus two three seven. So without further ado, let's head on into the design. The first thing I want to do is to create. Uh, I don't have to repeat this step again because it's what we have been doing and uh, it's quite easy. So here is it that we have. We have to, double, to create another ad board, which you already know how to create an ad board at this level. After creating an ad board, we can come to this video and we start with our first shape that is needed in this video, in this uh, tutorial. So, uh, which is in the, the the green? Give me the yellow, of course. Then we have to draw the next guy, which is supposed to be the black. Then let's put let's bend the edges, let it be a hundred hundred. Oops, hundred please. Thank you. Then let's go to the next one and do same. Bend it, let it be a hundred hundred, but let it be the corners now this time around. If you don't see this on your uh, computer. You have to go to properties i mean here and you activate properties this is it down here so after this the next step that we're gonna do from there is to import our logos and the other peripherals that is needed for the job everything has been provided as i earlier mentioned if you need them just hit, hit us on our whatsapp button and we'll give it to you That's the first step. The next step after that is for us to import everything and position them how it's supposed to be, except the background, of course. So just follow this tutorial keenly and position what you see me positioning. Now, I am not using um, uh, my page layout alignment, it doesn't mean that you should use it. Eh? It's very important. Perfect. The next thing that we're gonna do from there is do the typing. I've explained a lot about this, so I'll not even explain again. I'm doing my best not to use any shortcut so that it can help you perform better. So after that, the next step, as I said, is typing the information, which is what I'm technically doing now.
If you don't understand anything, you can comment in the section below and I'll be available to answer. So you see that is technically we are radically almost done with the, the design. The last thing that is there is to come to place and add this uh, guy at the back. It's a pattern. Then let's go from here, go down to overlay okay then you reduce it like that perfect that is technically what then can you already done with this apart from how to do a mock-up so if you have problems comment below please don't hesitate so saving is our normal function we have to come to export let's put as png locate where we want to save it they will click select folder it's gonna save the next thing you have to do from there is to open the file the then the, this file 91 which is on the resource let me delete this let's open 91 and this is gonna show up why are you doing a mock-up so mock-up is like a presentation like you want to give your clients to see how it's gonna look when you're done printing now the advantage from there is that clients they will see that like it rather than a normal straightforward sense information so let's first start with the back Just simply track uh, it up, let it fill those spaces. Once you are done, click on Ctrl S. Then do same for the front. That's where the other layers and place the front. Like that. Like that. Then you click on Ctrl S. Then there you go you have your design apart from that you can import our company logo at the edge and there you go saving is a normal thing and 
If you are at this level with me today, I want to say big congratulations to you. I want to say that Web3 Academy is one of the best places that you can study. It's one of the best places that you can grow yourself. And it's one of the best places that you can become the best version of yourself as a graphic designer, a video editor, a web developer, and all the like. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share this video. And don't forget to recommend people in this to, 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 to this channel.